Hey girl, Nat Smut Corner is back and better than ever. If you're not in the mood or you don't want to hear those scandalous descriptions, go ahead and skip from 2032 to 2211. Enjoy and have a great day. Ramble. Thank you to Chime and Green Chef for sponsoring this episode. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of You Can't Sit With Us. I'm one of your hosts, Becky, and I'm joined by Matthew. Hello. Margaret. Hi. And Ray Ray on the ones and twos. Hey. And today we've got a really exciting episode for you. Um, I'm very excited for it because we gave you a little taste, Mm. a little teaser of this game before. We did? Yes. (laughs) It's called Matt's Smut Corner. (gasps) And we're cornering oh the God, smut it's market. Happening. It's happening again. Matt <laughs> loved reading smut for you guys so much that he decided he wanted to do it again. Mm. And when he heard the fourth wing sequel, sequel Iron Flame came out, he <laughs> immediately was like, I must, I must mm. read this. So Voluntold. <laughs> <laughs> no, he volunteered. Don't lie. Um, so if anyone hasn't read Iron Flame, Rainy, I thought you were drinking wine right now. <laughs> it always does. <laughs> it, looks, it is 1040. <laughs> the corner of my eye was like, like red Whoa. wine? <laughs> Rainy <laughs> is drinking maybe coffee okay. out of a wine glass? Yeah, this is, um, this is, I'm always drinking out of these glasses because they're the biggest ones. Oh, I love that. Mm. I don't like the little yellow pea looking ones. You no. put water in it, it looks like pea. It I'm always like pea. doing this cup. I But see. I Beautiful. did do the trend where I got a Stanley cup. I filled mm. it up with water this morning. It is in my okay. apartment because I forgot to bring it to my Oh, car. that was oh. one of my trends Oops. that I was going to say, but I felt like it wasn't the right time. <laughs> I Drinking water? No, the Stanley cup. <laughs> you don't like the Stanley cup? Everyone I, has a Stanley, Stanley, cup, right has a Stanley cup. I don't, I don't get it. <gasps> do you think like, it's not cute? Yeah, what's the, what's the anger with Stanley? I just feel like smut for a moment. Yeah. What, 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 what do you what's have your, against Stanley? What's, your what's my beef? With Stanley? No, what did Stanley do to you? No, what did, beef? How did Stanley hurt you? No, She's a Yeti girl. No beef. I am a Yeti girl. <laughs> I am a Yeti girl. I have so many Yetis, but I just, uh, I felt like I was being influenced to get yet another cup. Mm-hmm. And I already have so many cups, oh, but so I wanted like yeah. a cute color, but I was like, Zero no, cups. I don't need it. Yeah, why do no buy and yeah. capitalism? I understand it yeah. like fits in like cup holders a little better and it's big, but yeah. So that's the the selling point of the Stanley is the smaller butt. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't stuff. know. I for me, it's I get to be cool TikTok girl. I mean, that is a vibe. Yeah. I feel yeah. like that's a, come with a, a straw too. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Reusable. And yet I do really straw. Straw. My yet, really I feel like you just buy the attachment. <laughs> buy, 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 buy the attachment. Buy the attachment. <laughs> buy, buy, you can buy, buy. it with yeah. the straw too. Oh, um, yeah, that's what I did. Mine has a straw. Oh, oh she's already, she already <laughs> has it in seventeen different she's, colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Strong opinion. I also like don't drink that much water. That's well. That's what I was trying to solve for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, if I buy this, I'm gonna drink water. Forgot I, it. In my I do <laughs> think it does help. I mean. Yeah, I'm almost. Done. Oh, you're a hydro flask. I'm a hydro. So we've flask. got kind of the three oh, pillars geez. of yeah. the water bottle I'm industry: hydro, hydro flask, Stanley, Yeti. Yeti. What do you do? Um, I have a swell. Remember those? Oh, oh <laughs> that was like OG grandpa. Was, yeah. <laughs> grandpa. Actually, a former EY employee left EY to start Swell. Wow. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. Supporting cool? small businesses. Yeah. Former colleagues. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving corporate that. America. I love <laughs> Start your that. Own corporation. <laughs> What's the over under? Okay. Let's dive into the Stanley. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. How much do you think a Stanley cup costs? A Stanley cup? $25. Stanley oh, bottle. I think it's going to be $50. What do we think? 32 ounces? Should we do that? What size did you get? I got more than 32. I got a giant one. You got giant? Did you get like 40? 60? Yeah. I think I got 60? 40. What? 40? I might have gotten 60, honestly. Stanley is it bottle lined 40 ounces. With silver? <gasps> What's inside does it look there? like it is? I'm actually. not gonna show you that does it look like that. Yes. Okay. So let's go with who what do we think is the most expensive? A Stanley cup, a hydro flask, or a Yeti? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna open them. We're all doing in. wire cutter right now. We are wire cutter. 
What is wire cutter? Oh, have you? Oh, it's this oh. New York Times. I'm sorry, it's this New York Times like review thing where it's like, oh. what's the best product? Oh, no. love. Yeah, let's steal it. Yeah, let's, let's steal, steal it. Wire cutter <laughs> segment each week. Wire okay, hydro. Se- we're doing our own wire cutter. Forty ounce. Snipping wire snipper. <laughs> Line snippers. <laughs> okay, okay. I see. I see. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Love. Well, Hydro Flask has a forty. Stanley Cup has a forty, and Yeti has a forty-two. How much? Which one do we think is the most expensive? And well, why? What about the swell? I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry. We have to include swell. I'm so, you already forgot. To travel back I'm to so sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> swell, forty ounce. <laughs> do they make a forty ounce? I thought they're just one size. <laughs> <gasps> okay, yeah. Which ones do we think are the most expensive, and why? Well, I just bought a Stanley and, Cup, yeah. and I'm thinking it's expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what drew you to the Stanley over a Hydro? Was okay. it just TikTok? I was in Urban Outfitters. Ah! Okay, love. <laughs> and I saw it, and I was like, "That's mine." Need? Yeah, I literally. It's I supposed must to have it. Called to me, and I actually took another lap around Urban Outfitters, and I was still thinking about it. Mm. And then what really sold me was I found a sw- like a little long sleeve shirt on sale, and I was like, "Okay, well, I'm already buying something. I'm already waiting in line." So it's basically free. So it's basically free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I get that. So it was mostly. And you don't have to wait because you're not ordering it. That's mm-hmm. right. It'll be Instant immediately, immediately available yeah. to me. Um, and I was like, actually, this is like healthcare practically because I'll be drinking water. Yeah. So it's like. You use your FSA. It it's going to save yes, money it later. It's covered by insurance. Yeah. <laughs> I know you can get sunscreen. You can? Yeah. yeah. Through. Oh. Um, whatchamacallit. Yeah, FSA. I don't know what that What's means. The, FSA, but- the one that you have where there's a little bit of money and they're like, you can use this for eye drops and yeah. sunscreen. Health, health savings. Flexible. Health savings account. Oh, yeah. Flexible. Yeah. Health savings. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know if, I don't know if they have that. For water bottles? I feel like it should be because you should drink water. I doubt it's there. No, your yeah. employer has to offer an FSA. That's true. Oh. Yeah. Which I don't know. if I, I don't know. I don't know if you guys really do. don't know. Don't know. Um, I know my old employer did, but mm. yeah. Mm. Yeah. And you can like decide how much you put into it every year. And if you don't use it, sometimes it rolls over, but you sometimes lose it. Use it or lose it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, use it or lose that. I mean, so I think that Stanley Cup is expensive, but for some, like for some reason, I I feel like Hydro Flask might be lower on the list. I'm going to say Hydro Flask is lower. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know for a fact that Yeti is more expensive than Hydro Flask. The reason I switched to Yeti very long ago is all my hydro flasks would get dinged up because huh. every single time oh, that I drop them, they true. dent. Oh, and dented. They, and uh-huh. they have the little okay, bumpers. Okay, so the dentability. Now. Yeah. Okay. Dentability. I think, I think Yeti's, I think it goes Yeti, mm-hmm. Stanley, Hydro, Swell. That's my guess. I, I agree. Well, Swell though is sort swell. of. Swell? I don't know. I think Yeti's <laughs> okay. going to be the most expensive because. Watch Swell be at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Swell is later. design. Swell is like those cute little like that's true things. Like, are they paying the artists? Okay, so are we yeah. putting our money is on Yeti is the most expensive, yeah. followed by Stanley Cup, yeah. followed by Swell. I, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's that's right. my ranking. Okay, that's your ranking. Ranking. <laughs> are you on the same ranking? You think Yeti is most expensive than Hydro Flask, then Stanley, then Yeti, or? Then no, I think it's well, Yeti. What do you think it is? I think it's I think Yeti, Yeti, Stanley, Stanley Hydro, Hydro swell. swell. Okay. Yeah. Are we locking that in? Lock yep. it in. You're wrong. Oh. <laughs> You're who's wrong. The, who's <gasps> the most expensive? Swell. <gasps> it was Swell. I was being facetious. Swell is <gasps> the most expensive. Whoa. <laughs> I would assume because it's a smaller company mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that it's only $5 more expensive. A 40 ounce oh. Swell is $50. Okay. <sighs> and then the wow. Hydro Flask and the Yeti. And the Stanley <gasps> are only twenty five cents difference. Whoa! A Stanley cup is forty five dollars. <laughs> what? A Yeti <laughs> is forty five dollars. You do get two more ounces, and then a Hydro Flask You're is getting more for forty four ninety five. Oh, sorry, five five cent difference, not twenty five cent difference. Whoa! Five cent difference. So th- I'm wow. sure they are all very aware. They are a hundred percent aware of yeah, each other. Of each other, except for Swell. Swell's like Swell we're is like listen out here living our life. Well, clearly they're <laughs> ahead of the pack. <laughs> yes, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. So yeah, that is the the ranking of prices. Well, also has really good customer service. Not not to hashtag sponsor me. <laughs> yeah, like, um, they Matt, have really great customer Matt service for twenty five percent off. Swell. <laughs> like something like one time, like there was like a 
sh- when it was like a shaking noise, it sounded like something was loose in the bottle. So oh. I called them. They sent me a whole new bottle. No, no issue. <gasps> Fine. Wow. Oh, wow. I got to choose a different color, anything I wanted. I love so nice. that. That is really good yeah. customer service. Yeah. Yeah. Got it within like two days. Oh. Wow. So happy. What was so shaking? Happy. It is pretty. It was. It sounded like a metal piece was like in, you know how it's like two layers? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's like something was in there. Oh. Mm. Interesting. But nuts and bolts. Yeah. I do like the swell is pretty. Like this is pretty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does it it's have cute. a straw option? It must. Mm. It must have to by now. Mm. I know I it didn't know. when it first launched. Let me see. Because the drink. top is like kind of, you know, it's just like the little. They have a tumbler with a straw. Oh, okay. Mm. So just like a mm. coffee cup with a straw. Okay. They've expanded. They've mm. expanded their lines. To coffee. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's the um, that's we that. Mm. That's that. They're really snippers. all the same. <laughs> <laughs> we did really our own the thread sniffing sniffing segment. Like that was kind of I was like my jaw dropped. So did Matt's. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I can't I still can't believe it. I yeah. know. That swell was the most expensive. You know, this is just <laughs> a lesson on competition. And that economics. is true. That's right. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That is true. And I think we'd have to like dive deeper to see like what their annual sales are, like who's actually the most successful company. Oh my mm. god. There's a girl that I started following on TikTok. Yeah. I don't even know why. I'm so interested <laughs> in the series that she does, but she does this series dissecting when a company goes bankrupt. Mm. So her big one that she's into right now are direct to consumer brands. Oh yeah. So like Lunia, the yeah. um pajama brand, mm. went filed for bankruptcy. Mm-hmm. Really? Uh-huh. And she kind of talks about how they're and she did um, I think Hello Bello, the diaper brand that Dak Shepard and Kristen, I was Kristen say, Bell that, did. Yeah, Kristen Bell, yeah. That one filed for bankruptcy and I think is like officially closing. Wow. Um, but she dives into what their marketing strategy was and like why their brands failed or succeeded mm. and like what they'll be Case getting study. out of. Yeah, yeah. And she like really dives deep. And I thought the one on the diapers was really interesting. Uh-huh. Is there any overarching themes? Yeah. That well, you- competition is mm. the one that Matt was talking about, especially in diapers. She was saying, um, if you're so they their whole thing was like it's like a better diaper, like made in America type thing, like mm-hmm. less chemicals in it or something. Mm-hmm. Made from bamboo fiber yeah. or something. Made from yeah, it was made from some other kind of fiber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um and so their whole thing when they first started was that they were using this um, manufacturing plant that had, you know, XYZ practices that they were and that's why they were more expensive. Oh. But then that company, that manufacturing plant, went under for some reason or changed their prices, did something. Yeah. So they decided instead of upping the charge to consumers that they would build their own plant that would go oh. with all of these like standards, right? Then they expanded to other things, not just diapers. They really should have just stuck oh. with diapers. Yeah. But then the market was so saturated in something like diapers, you can always find a Huggies, a Pampers, a... Oh, yeah. Like, like a any, like a PNG or Johnson any Seven Eleven or something. Any Seven like, Eleven yeah. will have a right. cheaper diaper mm. out there, mm-hmm. yeah. And so they lost all of like the sort of uniqueness that it had, right? And it was a subscription. It was another subscription thing, right? Mm. Yeah, that's what caught my attention. I, like I feel like the subscriptions, they're like super excited. People are really excited about it, and mm-hmm. then a few months later, it's like Wayne's. Like Ipsy was another one where yeah. I think it still exists, but like I feel like it's it was so big, and then people were like, I fifteen dollars a month adds up well and also you have so m- how are you going to be able to go through all of that right. stuff that's what i think with the diapers i'm like right what's well, we, also what if you're like running out of diapers you're like oh my gosh i only have two diapers right and yeah you have to go but, to the store anyway but that's right? what they're trying to get you away from is they like had the perfect like amount or whatever that um, you would like theoretically use mm. but then the two problems like with the saturated market that i see with that is mm-hmm. most stores will take diapers back if the box is unopened so if you buy too oh, many yeah. you can return them mm-hmm. yeah um, and then also, yeah, the, having the extras. Your baby gets right. bigger. Yeah, the baby gets bigger. You, you Now you just have this pile of diapers that you can't return or do anything with. Right. Also pretty bold to Whoa. build a manufacturing plant. They're like, well, we'll just build one. It's they were like, like we'll Whoa. just build one. That is a risk. That's yeah. a gamble. Yeah. 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 That's a big capital investment. But I thought it was really interesting. That is super interesting. <laughs> Who knew diapers? I wish I knew this TikTok girl so that I could plug her. But if you ever see her, she's great. Yeah. She mm. talks about failed brands. I love it. Yeah. We'll find her. But I wonder what Swell is at. I wonder if Swell is, you know, what level of yeah. business they're at. Well, we could find out. Because I also don't get, <laughs> how can you file for bankruptcy and then still be in business? Like Looney well, filed for, ba- you're a business person. Looney has filed yeah, for bankruptcy, but they're coming out with new products. They're a big it thing. It usually just means you can't cover your, what money, like you can't cover your debts anymore. Right. But then how can you keep making stuff mm-hmm. to sell? 
Well, you can either get bought out oh. or bankruptcy. Like you put all these restrictions on you and what you can do with money, what you can't do with money. Like the, because when you file for bankruptcy, like there's different types of debt that you have to pay back in like a yeah. certain order and stuff. So it's a whole complicated thing. And it's a different, I know there are different kinds mm. of bankruptcy because one mm-hmm. filed for like chapter nine, chapter right. 11, mm-hmm. chapter 13, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a bankruptcy officer, expert. <laughs> Why are you here? I mean, you're the TikTok <laughs> bankruptcy girl. Why are you here, Matt? That is you're why the TikTok we added you. <laughs> Go back to school. <laughs> why did you get an MBA? Yeah. Get what, out of what here. What did they teach you at that lowly USC? How to not file for bankruptcy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So crazy. Mm-hmm. Business is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Learning like, yeah, business is wild. Especially diapers. <laughs> Diaper business is so crazy. It really was. I was like, wow, how do you invent anything these days? Oh my gosh. You know? I know. Starting a business. Starting a business? Mm-hmm. So intense. Now that the holidays are coming up, I am buying lots of gifts, lots of groceries for get-togethers with family. And no matter what you're buying this season, when you use the Secured Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card, you can build your credit scores with on-time payments for everyday purchases. Plus, there's no annual fee, interest, or credit check to get started. You can use it everywhere. Visa credit cards are accepted. And you can overdraft up to $200 without fees with SpotMe when you set up a qualifying direct deposit. Just set up a qualifying direct deposit, sign up for SpotMe, and Chime will spot you up to your limit when you make a debit card purchase or cash withdrawal that exceeds your balance. Pay friends through Chime, Chime members or not, and cash out your money fee-free. Start building your credit. Open a Chime checking account with at least $200 of qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at Chime.com slash sit with us. That's Chime.com slash sit with us. The Chime Credit Builder Visa Credit Card is issued by Stride Bank, NA, member FDIC. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Call 1 844 244 6363 for details. Late payment may negatively impact your credit score. Results may vary. Early access to direct deposit depends on payer. Spot me eligibility requirements and overdraft limits apply. Green Chef delivers everything you need to eat clean and easy this month. Fill your best with Green Chef. Nutritionist approved recipes packed with clean ingredients that support your healthy lifestyle and taste great too. Looking to stock up on functional snacks and clean beverages to energize you through the holidays? Shop their new green bundles now available at Green Market, your one stop shop for nutritious grab and go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready to eat snacks, veggie sides, and more you can easily add to your weekly order. Green Chef offsets 100% of their delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Plus, nearly all packaging materials are curbside recyclable in most areas in the United States. I love fall cooking and they have an amazing maple butternut squash risotto recipe to die for. It's so easy, everything comes right to your door. I don't have to go to the grocery store and the recipes are so quick to follow. For Green Chef's best deal of the year, get $250 off with code SITWITHUS250 at greenchef.com slash SITWITHUS250. Again, for Green Chef's best deal of the year, get $250 off with code SITWITHUS250 at greenchef.com slash SITWITHUS250. But now I'm ready for smut. Oh. <laughs> oh, I thought now we forgot about that. Taking our brains up a notch. <laughs> We're going to take it down a That's right. <laughs> I thought we had forgotten about that. Matthew, <laughs> you requested because you loved mm. Fourth Wing so much. Mm. Um, fifth Wing. Now we're in the Fifth Wing? Well, now we're in Iron fifth Flame. Wing. Six. Why don't they call it Fifth Wing? It's so easy. Fourth Wing, Fifth Wing. Because there is no Fifth Wing. <laughs> the wings are the different. There's like Third Wing, Second Wing. Fifth Wing. <sighs> Matt doesn't know anything about dragons. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> she's <This> already <laughs> cackling because I've already read it so spoiler alert if you haven't read Iron Flame yet it came out November 7th so you probably should have already read it by now um, <laughs> anywho this Got is it. an excerpt from Iron Flame okay. Matt's gonna see what our favorite characters are up to yeah, what are their what are the character names were Violet <laughs> Violet and well it's she calls him well, his name's Zayden, but sometimes Zayden. we call him Rorson. That's his last name. <gasps> Rorson. 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 Tall, dark, and handsome. Rorson. He was the original guy, right? He was he's the, the OG, other guy. He's the OG guy. Yeah. Okay. He's the OG guy. I'm not done with this book, mm-hmm. 
But if anyone who is done with this book, she ends up with a guy named Dane. I'm throwing my phone against the wall. I swear to God. Oh, oh. I will never forgive Rebecca Yaros if, if it turns out Is he the good dated. guy? Is he the quote unquote good guy? Well, it's hard to explain. I mean, he has secrets, Serene. He has his secrets. No spoilers. No, no spoilers. spoilers. So we are rooting for him. Oh, okay. we are okay. rooting for him. Okay. Mm. But, no, but, but I don't know. But not yeah. in this moment. No, in this moment, we're rooting for them. We're rooting for them hard. Okay. And so this came out on November 7th. So spoilers ahead. If you have not finished Fourth Wing yet, or I mean Iron Flame yet, if you haven't finished Iron Flame, it is it has just come out. A late Read spoiler. It Read it and yeah. come back. Or go to minute <laughs> four past this. <laughs> and we'll be done reading the smutty smut. The smut. Mm. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Born ready. You can start with <laughs> <laughs> First sentence. Oh my god. Start with this and then I think you should go to the second page because I think it gets like spicier. <laughs> he kisses me like I'm the answer to every question. Aw. How does this make you laugh that you said clit like 30 times last time? <laughs> Anatomical body parts are just body parts. <laughs> like everything we've been and will be hinges on this moment, and maybe it does. <gasps> His hands work the laces at my back while I undo the buttons of his pants. I win the race, sliding my hand beneath the fabric to stroke him from root to tip. The glutteral groan he gives me feels like a reward and hits straight between my thighs, the ache intensifying to a throb. Let's go so I can get you naked. He punctuates that last (laughs) word with a nip of my lower lip. Yes, please. I free him and he pulls my armor loose enough to tug it over my head. <laughs> Becky, you have to stop laughing. <laughs> Try to be serious. I'm sorry. I need to be sitting on the other side of you so you can't see me. And he pulls my armor loose enough to tug it over my head. It smacks the ground. And a second later, the sensitivity peak of my breast is surrounded by his mouth, <gasps> licked by his tongue. I moan my fingers tunneling through his hair to hold him right there. That feels so damaged and good. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Wrapping an arm around my back and the other behind my knees, he lifts, then lays me into a water warmed stone bench <laughs> in one smooth motion. <laughs> you sure you want this here now? He asks, rising above me, blocking the spray of water from my breasts. His eyes hooded and his hair must from my hands. In five minutes, I can have you comfortable in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm distracted by the fact that she's wearing armor. The armor <laughs> plate. <laughs> because she's because she's a she's rider. A she's a rider. She's yeah. a rider. Why is she on a water warmed stone? They were in like a shower. They were in like a bathroom oh. place. They were in like a commode. <laughs> Ew. Hot. Sexy. Like with a toilet. <sighs> oh. Matt, that'll never fail to tickle me. <laughs> I, it's so funny. You should read audiobooks. What did you think of that smut compared to the first book? I feel like the last one was a little more vulgar. Mm. I feel like the last one was a lot more vulgar too. I agree. And mm. this one was more emotional. Kind of, it Passion. felt a little bit more Fifty Shades of Grey somehow. I don't know how oh. to explain. Oh. Like, like more like, not mental is the right word, but I don't know. It's like, yeah, more flowery bad. and descriptive. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do think I will say. Upon reading the second book, I was like, oh, maybe I actually don't think this is a very good book. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I don't think this is very well written at all. But you know what? The story keeps me there. It keeps me going. You read it for the story. You love a good story. <laughs> I do it for the plot. You love the story. It's true. I felt like that one, I, I could see the scene more. Mm. Like the other one was yeah. more just about their like their bodies. It oh, was. And this I is see. like, oh my gosh. Okay, more first of all. More about the surroundings. Yeah. Yeah. More about the nipped breasts. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure you want this here? A lot of scene setting. A lot of scene setting. There's a lot of scene setting. Yeah. I really got to know them personally. (laughs) Yeah. Uh Yeah. You could feel the warm to stone. The warm (laughs) to stone. So (laughs) damn (laughs) it. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, this one's not quite as, it didn't like slap you in the face the way the first one did. Yeah. Yeah. With the click, 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 click. Click, 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 click. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was shocking, truly. So great. Thank you, Becky, for <laughs> you know, bringing us this joy. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> if anyone has any good smut, please send it to us. Yes. Yeah. Or tag me. People tagged me on uh, in TikToks 
of people talking about smut books. So mm. just tag me that way and I'll find an excerpt from the book. Because mm. there are some <laughs> Becky really... will do all the research for you. She I wants will. that good smut. You know who you need to ask is Laura DIY. <gasps> she, oh. she reads smut. Yeah. She reads some smut. She read this one hockey smut book that I was we like, We should wow. have her on and have her listen to Matt. <gasps> Ooh, smut hour. Smut hour. Mm-hmm. We'll call Lauren. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Smut hour. Um, Laura yeah. DIY. Beautiful. Perfect. Yeah. Have you picked up any new smut, Matt? No. <laughs> Has it... <laughs> enticed you to pick up smut? I feel like it's like done the opposite. Mm. You know? It's made you less sexual. Less, want me to read less smut than I was reading before, which is already zero. So now I'm in the negative. <gasps> you didn't like it. You didn't like smut? You didn't like that? It's fine. You know, there's a book for everyone. <laughs> That's true. <You> know? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there's a book for uh, everyone. <laughs> Maggie, do you have any experience with smut books? Do you read smut? Mm. I, not really, no. So now you feel inspired. So now she inspired. Are you ready to read about? She wants to borrow your six (laughs) flame or whatever. I read like one (laughs) of the Colleen Hoover's, and I was like, okay. I started Colleen Hoover on a plane, (gasps) and I was like, have you read it? Have you read it? So I've, I, Nick's husband Paul and I both read. It ends with us together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, which one did you read, Maggie? Um, Verity. Verity. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you? What did you think? I thought I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I, it was overhyped for me. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I got it because I was like, okay, I've heard, I've seen this name so much. Then I come into the office and tell Kaylin and Devin that I am reading it. And they're like, oh. And I was like, and they were like, that's for girls who like didn't read Fangirl in middle school, didn't read Wattpad in middle school, but should have. And I was like, <laughs> okay, that's so rude. Offensive. <laughs> I am offended. Honestly, kind of true though. Didn't read it, would have enjoyed it. But. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't say she's my favorite author. What's your pinnacle? What's like your favorite? Yeah, best book. book. See, I wouldn't consider Colleen Hoover smut. Yeah. Yeah, Like I didn't find it very smutty compared to like um, Lessons in Chemistry, which, or not Lessons in Chemistry, whatever the other one I talked about. Yeah, Yeah, Lessons in Chemistry, different book. Someone messaged me and was like, did you know that that was Star Wars fan fiction? What? (laughs) Whoa. I need someone to confirm and come back. They said that that book was supposed to be Kylo Ren and oh. Ray. <laughs> oh. And I was like, what? Well, <laughs> so oh. how smutty does a book have to be to be called smut? I feel like it has to have a good, I mean, even the one that you read that wasn't Fourth Wing, like Fourth Wing, I really don't even think would be considered a smut book. Like there are like real smut books that are like, boning every chapter, you know, <laughs> or like boning every other chapter. Right. Mm. So I think for it to be considered like real smut, it has to be like actual, like. This is what you're, uh, this, this is, is why you're reading it. This is why it. you're reading yeah. it. Yeah, I feel like the smut in Fourth Wing was like in addition to the story about the dragons. Mm. Oop, it's just sci-fi? Fantasy? This one's, yeah, this one's like Fantasy. young adult sci-fi, yeah. Mm. Fantasy. Y-A. Fantasy plus. YA. Yeah. YA plus, I guess, yeah. What's Why the one that you guys were obsessed with like last year? Corn of Thorn and Roses. <gasps> Corn of Thorn and Roses. Akatar. Akatar. People still love Akatar. Akatar, I would call smut. Yeah. That's very smut. Hard. I will say, one of the books pages just in, no smut. They like kind of held him, okay. maybe. So I will <laughs> say, I have a girlfriend who is also reading Akatar. Yeah. And the first book, there is not a lot of smut. Yeah. And it will take you a while to get to smut. Mm. <laughs> when you get to smut, then it's the smut's pretty stop, good. Stop. It's pretty good smut. Oh. Like one of the books is only smut. Whoa. So I would say that uh, probably a quarter thorn and rose is like the smuttiest book I've ever read. Wow. Mm. Or the series, 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 not the actual first book. Mm. Yeah. But I do think it takes a really long time to get there. Yeah. Mm. Do you guys remember the first book where it was described and you're like, whoa. Like when you were like in high school, middle school? Oh, like smut? Like yeah. people, oh, I guess, yeah, people having sex in a book. Yeah. Because I remember Twilight, oh, yeah. I was like, mm. boy. I read a lot of Nicholas Sparks when I was younger. Oh. So my grandma and my mom read Nicholas Sparks, so mm. I would get the book when they were done with it. Oh, my gosh. Mm. There was boning in Nicholas Sparks. Yeah, there was. <laughs> That's what got you hooked. That's what got me hooked. I was like, <laughs> yes, these 40-year-olds are finding love again. Like divorcees and <laughs> widowers finding love again. <laughs> True life. Yeah. What's your favorite genre of book to read Mm. other than smut? (laughs) Mm. I don't know. I don't read a lot. Matt doesn't know how to read. I forgot how to read. (laughs) 
I don't read a lot. I've actually been wanting to read more because mostly I just read to help improve my Italian right now. That's what mm. I do. You're yeah. more of a read for learning, learning as yeah. opposed to read for pleasure. Yeah. I get that. And I mean, like the last time I really read for pleasure, like a series mm-hmm. was Crazy Rich Asians. And that was like years ago. Mm. Yeah. That's that's a, a those are long books, though. They are. They were mm-hmm. long. And there were three of them. So, you know. That's true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Maggie, what? what that was a while yeah. ago. The What's last book your you read? Genre. The last book I read. Oh. God, it's been a <laughs> while. Mm-hmm. I haven't read for pleasure in a long time either. Maybe the, the Patient. What was that about? There's like a psychological twist in it. So is it th- mm-hmm. thriller? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Is it the Silent Patient? The Silent Patient. Oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it was like, like the Patient. <laughs> <laughs> I was spoiled on it, so the oh. twist wasn't. Oh, you knew what the twist, twist was. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. I feel like Someone that's kind of okay for, for Silent Patient, though, because you kind of, it's one of those that you could re- read from a different perspective. Mm. You know what I mean? You could look for all the context clues, Basically, the foreshadowing. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you kinda, wanted the twist. I wanted the twist. Yeah. Speaking about a twist. Yeah. Maggie, you have a bunch <laughs> of tea for us. Oh, today. yes. I have a bunch of tea. So I asked um, Instagram to send us some piping hot tea and <gasps> you guys delivered. I am still going through my DMs just like, oh. So we may have to have another episode on it because we got some good stuff. Okay. Okay. So the first one. I'm a newer nurse and I was floated recently to another floor. I met a cool male nurse and we talked a bit after our shift. Mm -hmm. I was getting some flirty vibes from him. So I mentioned to him that I have a boyfriend and he told me how he has a girlfriend. So I thought, oh, cool. Maybe I was wrong about the vibes that I was getting from him. He texted me a few times since, and I got weird vibes from him. Parentheses. He mentioned giving me a massage for my birthday last week. So I was like, what is going on? You just met him. I know. (laughs) Massages? Girl, red flag. I know. The guy running with the red flag. (laughs) 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 Ma'am. Well, last weekend at work, he kept coming to my floor, but I was busy. So he came randomly, randomly to have lunch with me. We talked. And before we left the break room, he grabbed me and tried to kiss me after we just talked about our significant others. Oh, Boundaries. I was shocked. I pushed him away and reminded him that we're both in relationships, and thankfully he apologized. After work, he was waiting for me by my car and asked if I'd be interested in something low-key, and it could be our little secret. <laughs> He's delusional. He is. Delulu. He's looking for an affair. He's looking for an affair. I said I'm monogamous and not interested, and I kid you not, two days later his <gasps> was his girlfriend's birthday, and he wrote the longest post about him, how Classic. much he loves her Classic. and cherishes 100%. their relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Checks out. Red flag. It's the man right now. Red flag. Checks out. Ma'am. Checks out. Yeah. Checks out. <laughs> Ma'am. That's it. That's the tea. I yeah. mean, the people who are the most effusive online. Mm-hmm. Are the ones that are trying to convince the world uh, and themselves yeah. about their relationship. I think that's about anything, though, too. Like, if someone's posting, like, how much they love, I don't know, fucking cheese. Oh, yeah. Cheese. Or, like, something like that. You know what I mean? They're like, yeah, this is like, the best. You're yeah. Like, prove it to yourself. Prove yeah. it to yourself. Prove it to yourself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> prove it to yourself. Yeah, that guy is why, is where men get the bad name. A hundred percent. But also, but that's like a the workplace setting. She could literally that's sexual report harassment. Him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she is, could report him. Yeah, and it's super disruptive coming to like the floor because you have to like fully leave like what you're doing to go to the next oh. floor. Yeah, yeah. I'm also like, how did they have the? T- how did he have the time? Yeah, yeah. And, unless like, it was his you- lunch hour, but weird. Yeah, how are you making your schedule so it's the exact same? Yeah, yeah. weird. Womanhood weird. is like girl. avoiding yeah. m- like men like that. It's like. Last week, I was in the Trader Joe's parking lot, and it's, like, in a strip mall, so there's, like, other stuff around uh-huh. it. And I, like, put – I grab all my stuff, and I put it in the trunk. And I had, like, seen a guy, so, like, I was aware that there was a person there. And so I, like, put all my stuff away, and I closed the door. Yeah. And the guy's just, like, next to my <laughs> window and, like, knocks, and I scream. Oh, my I, gosh. I'm a very jumpy person. Yeah. And well, I'm, yeah, like, people shouldn't be knocking on your window. Yeah, yeah. that too. Unless and you're, you're like, car. dragging a body behind your car. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I, like – roll down my window like a crack and uh-uh. I was like yes hello and he was like oh I thought you were really cute so I like wanted to no, say no, hi no, no. and I was no. like oh and he was just like are you married and I was like yes and he was like happily and I was like <gasps> oh, oh my god 
And it was very awkward. And I like texted Zach immediately. I was like, I, I never yeeted so hard out of a parking lot. The whole setting with my window cracked like a centimeter and Ugh. me talking and like screaming. It was it was bad. I also don't care how people can't like read the room. Right. No. Like read the room, sir. Right. Yeah. Back it up. Also, mm-hmm. the first question being, are you married? Are you like, married? Well, I, I'm always like, yeah. But it's just like, it's, a, you know. Oh, 100%. Yeah. 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 And I like had just come back from the gym. I was looking like all sorts of like horrible no mm-hmm. wedding ring so he was like looking at my hands and i'm like yes i'm married yes <gasps> i'm married i am yes i am i am not creepy lying. so creepy i don't think our listeners are creepy so they don't need this advice but yeah. if you yeah. know people in your life that would do this tell them it's creepy yeah, yeah. that's creepy it was yeah. creepy i mean gray's anatomy hasn't really given us that's a good true. template to work off of in the <laughs> hospital setting though that's you know what true I mean? mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Where like in media, like persistence is rewarded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it's just so public. I don't know. Just like in the work setting, that yeah. I, I don't know when that would happen. Maybe not on. I don't know. I'm just, just like just, when do you have the time? Yeah, when mm-hmm. you're a nurse. Yeah, there's like I don't know. Not in the experience that I've had. Yeah, maybe if you work in like a small, small like six person staff, and mm. there's corners to hide in. Not really. Mm-hmm. Not really. Mm-hmm. So this is a hot tea from the Gilded Age, the last episode that happened. Uh-huh. <laughs> Spoilers ahead in case you haven't watched season I two, haven't watched season episode two. three, uh, but it's fine. okay. It's just a small thing. Fine. It's already happened in season one. Uh, oh, okay. But it's, it comes up again. So, um, you know, the Russells, yeah. Mr. Russell and Mrs. Russell, right? Mm-hmm. They're the mm-hmm. new rich people. Mm-hmm. Well, Mrs. Russell's maid, her, uh-huh. her lady's maid, Mrs. Turner, Miss Turner, she tries to hit on Mr. Russell and like shows up naked in his bed. Uh-huh. And she's like laying there. She's like, she's like, I'll devote myself to you. Yeah. Like trying to be his mistress or whatever. And then he like makes her leave and like rejects her. Mm-hmm. Right. Rejects Shuts her, her down. Mm-hmm. And, but he doesn't tell Mrs. Russell. Okay. And she finds out about it in season two, you know, after Miss Turner is actually, um, let go for different reasons during the season. But then in season two, it comes up and Mrs. Russell finds out that that Ooh. happened. Oh, my gosh. And then she gets so mad at Mr. Russell, even though he's like nothing happened. And he was like, you let her wait on me and touch me and do my hair and do all this stuff after you had seen her naked in your bed. <gasps> so she was so mad about it. Yeah. 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 I get it, Miss Mar- Miss Russell. Mrs. Russell. Mrs. Russell. So sorry. Yeah. Or S. Russell. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's not very gilded of her. That's it's not, other not gilded, gilded at all. Miss, well, Miss Taylor. The reason why it's a big deal and spoiler alert, mm. it's because <laughs> Mrs. Turner is now Mrs. Winterton and married some really old rich man. Mm. So now she's in the same circles as oh. Mrs. No. Russell. Yes. Oh, she was always that is scheming. Tea. She that was is scheming so all the time. It was like insane. Oh. So now she's like on this kind of the same playing field as Mrs. Oh. Russell. Oh, oh so no. So now they, Mrs. Russell wants to out her as a former lady's maid. But Ooh. then the, now Mrs. Winterton wants to out her husband for sleeping with the <gasps> lady's maid. You know, when he actually she's didn't. She's like, yeah, trying to blackmail them. So that's really why Mrs. Russell is very upset oh. is because her husband never told her. That's fucked. Did that happen? Did that happen? And now she's like a lady of New York, you know? Wow. <laughs> she's a lady of that's New York. That's some tea. Isn't that that is crazy? That's some Juicy. Gilded Age tea. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Whoa. What crazy. a trash bag. <laughs> trash mm. bag. But the whole thing is like anything's possible in America. Especially at that time, <laughs> you know? You could be a lady's maid. You could be a lady's maid one day. Oh, yeah. And oh. a lady sitting at the yeah the like highest tables in New York the next day. I always had a feeling she was going to get pregnant and then she was going to say mm. that it was Mr. Russell's baby. Mm. Mm. That's where mm. I thought that storyline was going. Well, you weren't far off, but wasn't you were super far, far off. But I was off. But it was not <laughs> correct. But it was incorrect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Give us the tea, Max. Yeah, what's the, the next, next tea? More tea? The next one. Because that was crazy. Girl, you should also report him. Just yeah. do it. Ugh. Just send a letter to HR. Yeah. Email. Sure. Yeah, set a boundary. Because honestly, if he's done it to her, he's probably done it to other people. <gasps> oh, 100%. That's oh, my God. True. And he will continue to do it. Yeah. yeah. Not with just you. Someone else. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. Write an email. Yeah. Get gone. Okay. This next one has like, okay, here we go. My partner and I moved into a new apartment and the property manager would leave the front door unlocked for prospective tenants to look at between renters 
and gave me remote access to the building when she couldn't meet them. So we loved the apartment, signed the lease, and moved in a few weeks later. The day we move in, our neighbor introduces himself in the front of the building and said he left his computer chair in the empty apartment and he just needed to move it back to his place, which was across the way. My partner thought it was very strange, but it didn't really bother me, so I thought nothing of it. Fast forward two weeks, my partner is at a friend's house catching up and she shows her a photo of the guy she was previously dating and it is, in fact, our new neighbor. (gasps) What? Yeah. He had recently ghosted her and my partner tells him about the weird chair incident in our apartment and the girl immediately starts profusely apologizing, saying that he would take her into the vacant apartment to have sex in. I want to confront him about it, but I also don't want tension where I live. What would you guys do? Absolutely do not say anything. (laughs) Do not say one word to that neighbor. Are you out of your mind? Why would you confront him? Also, what is there to confront him about? Yeah. Invite yeah. your friend over. Right? Oh, there we go. Let him see <laughs> oh, the girl coming into your yes. apartment and have him shit his pants, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's good. And also, like, he took the chair away. It's not like he was like, you can have the chair. Yeah. Oh. Use it as a bed. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh. I know. I wonder how small that town is. Yeah, that's I know. Cool. I don't know. Ooh. I mean, they yeah. should throw a party and invite both people. Oh, so you want to really be dramatic. Like, yes. New neighbors, my friends. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Housewarming. And then I love see it. what happens. Ooh. See what happens. Yeah, but do not confront that man, girlfriend. Do not no. confront that man. What could you get out of it? Him. Yeah. That's yeah. What I heard like, you were having sex yourself. in my apartment and then you ghosted my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I work at a very small accounting office and we just hired a new front desk admin. Turns out she married someone that I had a PG-13 relationship (laughs) with in high school. Should I tell her? I love the phrase PG-13 relationship. Uh That is adorable. Does that mean just like making out? (laughs) Yeah, I think so. I don't really. I would have been like, probably like, probably seen his peen. (laughs) 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 Probably seen the peener. (laughs) That's PG-13? Yeah. That's What's oh. PG-13 in the movies? What's PG-13 in the movies? Oh, the yeah. Are there blowjobs in PG-13 movies? Oh. Maggie, Google it. I bet I bet there's like, <laughs> yeah, like um, illusions. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like Or is it just not. like heavy petting? <laughs> oh, for the G. I mean, I guess that this, the answer to this question also depends on like how long ago was high long, school for you. Yeah, it was like last year. Well, she's an accountant. How long does it take to become an accountant? Oh, yeah, a while, a while. You have to have an accounting... Degree, a degree. Yeah, Can but. contain sex scenes if they are brief and implied. Ooh, uh, okay. Yeah. So she might have. She had implied sex. She impl- <laughs> sexual <laughs> references can sex. be allowed if they aren't too graphic or crude. Okay, Nudity so maybe some groping. Allowed. Yeah, at least some groping. Yeah, maybe a titty came out. Yeah. <laughs> Pop. Um, Wait. So the question is, she had a she had a, that relationship in high school, and now her friend is dating that person. Should she tell her? No, the admin married the married new that person. Admin. Yeah. Oh, at work Ooh. married this person. No, keep it to yourself, but you can't be friends. Yeah, yeah. You can pop like her. <laughs> no. Yeah, if it keep comes it to up, yourself. Because I feel like there's going to be kind of like holiday parties and right. such, and that will come up. So and he let might her tell her. Honestly, yeah. pretend like you don't know him. Pretend you, pretend don't, you know. don't know. Be like, Forget. what? We did? Yeah. <laughs> who are you? <laughs> I don't remember that. <laughs> or just like, oh, I didn't know who your husband was. I don't know. I don't think grown people need to tell each other yeah. like about their high school romances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you can tell your partner, but not like it's a stranger. Like six, five, four years. Yeah. After college then, right? It's after yeah. college. So that had to be at least four or five years. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was long yeah. enough ago that you can let it go. Yeah. I wonder if she's still hung up. Still has a crush on him. <gasps> oh, that's the real cheese. Bay. That would be crazy. Let us know. Yeah. Um, PG-13 okay. to R. The next, next cheese man. Is it normal to think about your ex even after even after you had a bad breakup. I'm currently in a really good and healthy relationship with the love of my life. We've been together for more than two years, but there are days when I check in on how things are with my ex. It's not because I have feelings for him or what. He is truly despicable. He ghosted me while he had COVID and potentially got it because I saw days prior him testing positive. But I do feel a certain level of curiosity about how he is and whether or not he's doing well. Maybe even better than when we were together. Is that weird? Because I kind of want to see him still be 
at his dead end job or posting loser memes, <laughs> then I'd know I won. Lols. But yeah, I can't see anything because he's private on all accounts. So yeah, the mystery continues. So wait, how does she check in on him if he's private on all accounts? Isn't she's just asking? Is it normal to think about your ex? She kind of wants to though. She oh, wants, she wants to. I yeah. know that's a little odd. Uh, I mean, as long as she's not talking to him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't I think mean, it's weird. There's a yeah. part of me that there's like, yeah. I have a deadbeat ex that I'm like, I want to see just like a snippet <laughs> into your life yeah. because. I'm so public. I, you can look me up at any time, but I don't, I have no idea. But That's it's not true. something I like, I'll think about it like once every year. Once mm -hmm. in a blue Or like moon. once every two years. And I'm like, oh yeah, I wonder how that person's doing. Yeah. yeah. And like social media is just at I our fingertips. That's That's true. I feel like yeah. it's normal. You're not a bad person for You're thinking about it. You're not stalking them. You're not yeah. stalking yeah, I them. Think don't stalk. You're, You're not, not pursuing. You're not contacting them. You're not contacting. Yeah. You just. You just have a friend check on their Instagram. <laughs> That's what, what I was thinking. <laughs> Call That's up David Dang. Thinking, yeah. <laughs> David Dang, please look at. Yes. God, have some please friend friends. this person. Go on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. yeah. See what he's up to. LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like especially if you had a, a relationship that ended kind of weird where you didn't get answers, then mm -hmm. your brain might be like trying to find answers. Yeah, I think it's normal. But I also think like, move on. Who cares about a loser? Yeah. Just assume. Pass don't look at him and assume he is still posting cringy memes. Yeah. Yeah. That's Let's assume true. the memes are still there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the memes are memeing. Yeah. I frequently stalk my boyfriend's mom on Facebook. He mm -hmm. does not know. She recently what? wrote a post threatening <laughs> a group of people. I reported what? it and got her Facebook banned. My BF, men <laughs> my boyfriend mentioned this to me, and I was like, I and and, and I was like, I wonder who got it taken down. Yeah, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like on it. I actually kind of like this. Yeah. <laughs> what did mom do to get? Mom threatened a group a of people. Yeah. <laughs> well, I love honestly, it. it usually takes more than one person. That's true. To mm -hmm. get things banned. So she was, it was part probably, of a coalition. Probably bad. Maybe the right? husband was doing it too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're both reporting the mom. But I am sort of like, why are you stalking her? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, what's the point? And now she can't. Now she's lost that inlet to stalking the mom, <laughs> right? That's true. She cut. She cut that off. How is she going to stalk her now? Yeah, how's she going to know what's going on? Yeah, mom's not on Instagram. Mom's on Facebook. Mom is on Facebook. You know? That's right. Yeah. Or she was. She was not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Removed for bullying and harassment. <laughs> wow. I think she could. Would tell you report her. someone? Would you report your significant other's mom on Facebook? <laughs> Patty Habersberger. <laughs> no, she mostly posts about cats and dogs but what and if animals. She did post something. If she posts a hundred percent, yeah, you would. You would. A hundred percent. You know what? My. <laughs> you know what is king behavior. Jesus, my roommate that I lived with in college. Yeah. Senior year, this boy called me a cunt. No, junior year, this oh boy gosh. called me a cunt. I know, aggressive, yeah. right? So Charisma, he, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. What? Yes, basically, he said I had a lot of it. Um. <laughs> So Jesus wrote on his Facebook status that was about how much he loved his mom, asking if his mom knew that <gasps> her son called women cunts. Oh, <gasps> my God. And then wow. what happened? Well, obviously he deleted it, but I think the mom saw it. <gasps> it was back in the day. Like, this was in oh, the 2010. Oh, the his mom. He tagged his mom and was like, oh, I love my mom, blah, 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 blah. And Jesus wrote, does... And tagged the mom. And oh. said, Does she know oh, that she had you call then. women cunts? She mm. hadn't seen it then. Yeah, mm. that's wow. wild. I love that. He was a real level. one. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's first a real level one. of accountability. That's yeah. allyship. Right? Yeah, yeah. Stand up for your friend. He was like, "No, you do not say that." Mm -mm. But I guess I would want. I can imagine if somebody, if his mom knew. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, I hope. Did your mom ever? I bet. What did your mom say to you when she found out that you did that? You know. Oh my gosh! If my son did that, I would be livid. Mm -hmm. Oh, I would be like, I, I'm, I failed raising you. A hundred percent. I would cry probably. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would be like, I've. That's it. Well, yeah. that's it. But, anywho, yeah, I don't call girls cunts that. or their yeah. best friends will write on your mom's <laughs> Facebook wall. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can include this one, but it was <gasps> my eyes like opened when I was shocked. Okay. About murder. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about murder, but it's, <laughs> my friend called off her wedding day because she walked in on her ex fiance suckling his mom's nipples. Ah! He tried to defend himself, saying, It's not a sexual thing, it's a stress reliever. Oh my God. She hasn't spoken to him since then.
What do they mean? It's not a sexual. I couldn't thing, go to. I couldn't go. I couldn't li- exist not telling you guys that one because I was like, I can't just have this. <laughs> what? And he was getting married. He was getting married. He was an adult. Yeah. He was an adult. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like calling off the wedding was the right thing. I think you should be calling off the wedding. Um, was a good call. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I don't think we need to say anything. We just need to react oh. and be like. That is wild. That's, that reminds me of, did you watch The Boys Mm-mm. on Amazon? Mm-mm. There was a, but it was sexual. Oh. Well, I think it was sexual. In this case, too. I know. assume Freud would have some things to say about it. Yeah. Call him up. I'm call also like, as someone who's currently breastfeeding, I'm like, oh. So are you still producing milk? Oh. The grandma? The mom? <laughs> the, grandma. <laughs> the grandma? The mom? Like, the are you still? Grandma? Because if you, like, stimulate. Right. It, your body will keep doing it. Yeah. So is. Well, her oof. adult daughter is about to get married. So if she's still producing no, milk. Her do- adult son. Yeah. Son. Her adult son. It wasn't the son <laughs> with the mother-in-law. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a son with the mother-in-law. Oh, I thought you thought oh. it was sexual. No, yes. it was the no. son with his own mother. Oh, the son yeah. with his own mother. With his own oh, mother. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also feel like there are different ways you can relieve stress, and I feel oh, like yeah. they there don't are, necessarily. There, are, other there are no other ways to relieve stress. I'm also like maybe a pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> Would a fuller help? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh God. Okay. While sexting my long distance boyfriend. My boyfriend accidentally sent a dick pic to the wrong girl while trying to send it to me. He couldn't delete it in time. The girl opened it and he started profusely apologizing to her while I was on the phone. She apologized after to me. It's been an awful few months, but I still think about it till this day. He hasn't spoken to that girl since, but it still hurts me. Still hurts her. He basically sexually harassed someone else. (laughs) What do you mean you're hurt by this? Also, (laughs) some other girl got a dick pic that she didn't want. (laughs) How did how did he send it to the wrong girl? You know what I mean? Like she must have been up in the. It could have been similar, like first name. You know when you like. I mean, hit the send instead of like going to the text first. Yeah, you go to the photo first and then hit send and type in the name. Is I'm guessing what happened. I'm surprised that she's mad at the girl. That feels like misdirected anger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh Uh-huh. Because this other girl did nothing but receive a penis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope she's Maybe she's hurt because she's not sure if it was really on accident. But it sounds like it was if he was on the phone. It sounds like, yeah, Yeah. apologized. Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever gotten a nude from someone or like seen a nude of someone that wasn't intended for you? Yeah. Get your Instagram, the private Instagram DMs. Oh, people are really? creepy. Oh my god, I get dick pics, dick pics all the time. Really? I do yes. not. Really? I don't. Yes. Becky. No. <laughs> Interesting. No Becky. They're in there. Um, um, no, I get them in my Instagram DMs. That's and then crazy. the other thing I get. People need to. St- can you tell them to stop? People stop. I w- yeah, everybody needs mm-hmm. to stop doing stop. that. I'm not going to respond to them because then they can respond to me more. Yeah. I yeah. thought of a really good segment, but Keith said that it we shouldn't do it, was responding to um, people on TikTok. I don't know why. I get the most, um, do you need a sugar daddy? And I don't think that they're real. I think they're like bots. Yeah. But Keith was like, I don't think you should Fishing respond attempts. to people because I think they're going to try and get into your phone. Yeah. Oh. But I was like, but yeah. how funny would it be if they responded? Yeah. Like some of them are like, I'll give you $5,000 a week. It's like, okay, like, cool. Okay, sign me up. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. What does this entail? Yes. <laughs> Delightful conversation? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Please click this link. Yeah. And I will access all your bank accounts. Put in your Basically. Social security Thank number. you. <laughs> Basically. I'll send it to you. Yeah. But I don't even get DMs. All my DMs are typically from like women or non binary people. Like men do not DM me. Mm. Becky gets that. <laughs> yeah. Men, men are DMing you, <laughs> which is interesting. <laughs> Hmm. Interesting. Well, they can't DM you both. You know, they gotta yes. choose <laughs> one or the other. I would say my pool is wider. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. The pool, the reach is further. The reach is further. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll tell you what my top one is. Yeah. It's probably going to be cheese man. Well, and then do your, the hidden request in the bottom because that's where all the, that's where What's like the, the craziest request? stuff. Okay. So you go to requests and then you scroll all the way down and then you kind of have to hit it fast. Hidden request. Hidden request. I see. I see. Mine uh, all look like spam. 
it's like me and then they have like 10 other people they message to in the same thing. Oh, yeah. With links. Contact me. Contact me. <gasps> oh, wait. Wait, what? Contact you? Yeah. Orgasmic pussy licking. Oh! <laughs> 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 But it's definitely like a spam thing. Yeah. With like links. That's what mine are. But like the top one, these sending to other people, Guy Fieri's on this thread. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> oh wait, Becky, so they're not it. like images, they're like links. There, I'll I'll go to my TikTok yeah, yeah, so yeah. that you can hear what the first one is. Yeah. Mine's all pure. You wanna read my hidden? Yeah, I wanna see. They're all pure. That is so weird. I don't got, I feel like those almost should be in the inbox. Oh my gosh, these are really cute. These are like, <laughs> do you want to try this restaurant? <laughs> okay, so this is what I have. I have Keanu Reeves saying hello. Oh, mm. I have someone named Daddy Andrew saying hello. So sorry to infringe on your privacy. Have you ever had a sugar daddy arrangement before? Gorgeous. I could Gorgeous. take a million dollars on your pretty face. Hiding oh. ice. I'm so sorry if this offends you, but I find you really attractive and would like you to be my sugar babe. Are you interested in having a sugar daddy to support you and make sure you're financially stable? Question mark. Without wanting to do anything sexual in return. X. Oh. That was Daddy Andrew. George Steve. Would you let daddy spoil you with $5,000 and pay your bills? Money emoji. Just for attention and advice? X. Advice. And attention. Advice. Advice, advice. I'll give. I'll that was from George advice. Steve. George Steve. David Steven. Hello, pretty. Heart, nice Pretty. to meet you. How are you doing? Especially, I'll be happy if you text me back. I'd love to be your sugar daddy while you be my sugar baby, my sugar girl. And I'll be here to take care of you and get you paid weekly. My payment starts from 7,000 euros. If you're Woo! interested, Big text spender. me back. Heart, heart. Smiley face with hearts. Ooh, I mean, you have wow. three like prospects. You could do them all three at once. And then you'd probably be making, I don't know. 10, 15K a, a week. Bank. <laughs> Daddy Jason. Wow. Daddy Jason. Daddy Jason has 317 followers. Oh, verified. Says, hello, pretty. I'm a sugar daddy looking for a sugar baby to care for her needs, pay her bills, and spoil her with $6,000 weekly allowance. Are you interested? No punctuation. Well, now you're already up to like 25K a week. So Right. For doing nothing, almost. Yeah. No, no Only sexual. advice and attention. No sexual. Only X. X. <laughs> X. X. Advice and attention. Yeah, all of my TikToks are That's crazy. old men. You get all the exciting things. I will say reach, though. Again, with the reach. Uh-huh. Your arms are long. My <laughs> arms are long. My follower, reach, follower you counts. So far. You reach all the way to Sugar Daddy away. University. To Sugar Daddy University. Yeah. Sugar Daddy University. <laughs> well, guys, I'll let you know say? how it pans out. What can I say? I'll send them your way. I'll send them your way. <laughs> Go to your TikTok DM. See if you have Sugar Daddies. Probably not. I, I, I mean, I don't even post anything on TikTok. I don't think these people are real. Yeah. I think I'm just getting spammed. You have no message requests? It's just the regular inbox? The only you're sharing. Yeah. In I don't have any. <laughs> there is like a message request button that you can press yeah, in the inbox. Yeah, it's message requests in your oh. inbox. Okay, let's see. I don't have No that. one's requesting me. I send all my messages, people, to you. So you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> You're like forwarded to <laughs> forwarded. Oh, oh, it's oh! Really, this will be a message request thing. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I only have two. I have one that's like about Florence Puh, and huh. then the other one is just hey, hey, hey. hey. Mine is literally. These are Whoa. all sugar daddies. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like they've targeted You're gonna your be phone. So rich. They're all sugar daddies. You're gonna be so rich. You have that's like 15, 20 sugar daddies right there. Now you don't need another um, goss. Yeah, here I have another one. She's looking for a sugar daddy. I have a lot in my inbox. I was like trying to find some good ones. Yeah. My uncle left my aunt for their 11 year old daughter's best friend's mom and dad to form a thruple what? with their four kids and completely leaving my aunt alone. What? That's what? Sad. A messy divorce. Yeah. A messy divorce. Wasn't I also like that said a kid mom was added to that sentence because I thought it was going right. a different direction. I was nervous. I was really nervous. <laughs> yeah. I just like how they just totally <laughs> cut out the aunt. They didn't offer her in on the quadruple. Like, bye. Yeah. <laughs> You're on your own. I'm taking the kid. Ugh. Okay, here's another one. My best friend's husband DM'd me in the middle of the night telling me that I needed a boop job. Oh. I told her... <laughs> I told my friend about it. 
She, <laughs> she told me to handle it. I called him, screamed at him, and told her to leave him over speakerphone. Now we don't speak, and they are still together. That's not a friend. Why would the friend ever be like, you handle it? <laughs> you take care of my husband sending you messages. Yeah. <laughs> that's not a good friend. No, that's a bad friend. Yeah. Also, also, why wouldn't she talk to her husband or her partner or whatever? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I have a lot of questions. Something's not right there. Send us an email. Yeah. yeah. Like Send us an email. Yeah. More context. We need more context. That's crazy. Okay, here's a language learning one. Oh, yeah. PG1, Becky. After all this smut. God. <laughs> Growing up and living in Europe, it's not uncommon to meet people who speak two or more languages. I was wondering if you could discuss your experience with language learning in school or as an adult. Do you think it should be a more valued skill? How would you have liked to be taught in school? I know Maggie's bilingual and also wanted to know her opinion on the link between culture and language. Does it help to speak different languages and understanding different situations? Absolutely. Yeah, I actually learned to speak Spanish um, just because my grandmother is just only speaks Spanish and my parents' family only speaks Spanish. So in order to communicate with my family and I have found it super beneficial, especially living in Southern California mm. where there is a mm. huge melting pot, but we have a huge um, population of Latinos and I even just like traveling through South America and Central America, mm -hmm. being able to communicate has been so beneficial and like exploring culture and like going to smaller towns, being mm -hmm. able to communicate is always just so nice. You basically have a whole other continent you can communicate with. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever think about like languages and how the words are related or like like structurally? Like are there, do you get any more meaning from like knowing what one word means in one language and then what the same concept means in a different yeah. language? There's like, I took Latin actually in high oh. school for like one year just because uh -huh. I knew mandatory? Spanish. Oh, it was mandatory. And I thought it would help with like SAT and everything yeah. like that. That's true, yeah. So it helps with root words, but mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. it definitely Catholic doesn't school. necessarily mean you're going to be fluent. Because like the, right. I'm not very good at French. Uh -huh. That's like something I've always kind of struggled with. But yeah. you can like kind of like mm. see how words are related if yeah. I'm just like looking at it and reading yeah. versus like trying to have a conversation. Did you take French? No, I oh, never okay, took okay. French. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just I didn't know. have enough people to practice with. Yeah. But maybe. Well, now yeah. there's a lot more like online tools mm -hmm. where you can get like yeah. online tutors and like one-on-one -on -one sessions and stuff to like help you practice and learn things but it's way harder now i feel like than when we were younger mm -hmm. yeah. like learn stuff yeah how has your experience learning italian growing up matt well if you don't use it you lose it <laughs> mm -hmm. that's for sure because mm -hmm. i feel like <laughs> <laughs> right becky it's <laughs> <See>. <laughs> <laughs> Because I used to be so good and I used to just be able to like, yeah. you know, it all out. Now I can't anymore. No. It takes like, you know, it takes a lot more practice. Yeah. And you ebb and flow. I feel like when mm -hmm. you go and you're talking with people mm -hmm. constantly, like when I would go and visit my family, I'd come back and I'd be like, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. But then there's often times where I, there'll be a long period of time where I haven't gone to see them mm -hmm. and my Spanish is like not so great. Yeah. yeah, but then you get back into it, and then you're like, oh wait, 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 and then it floods back. Mm -hmm. But it takes a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the brain. Yeah. The one thing that is weird is when I do crossword puzzles. Oh, like I'll often try to find a word that I think will fit, and it'll be in a different language than because I only do crossword puzzles in English. But for <laughs> some reason, like French words or Italian words will pop up that will fit in. Mm. You know what I mean? That have like the right meaning and stuff, but obviously they're wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah, because they're not in English. Mm. But it's weird. Mm. Yeah. That is really interesting. You find the right word in the wrong language. I don't speak any languages. But you're reading to Henny in Spanish, right? You have we some are. Spanish books. We have some Spanish books. We We're did all bedtime. trying to learn Spanish together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. My um, friend's uh, daughter, is. she's now three, and she um, is starting to, she now can talk in English because she could talk in Spanish before, but I couldn't talk. So mm -hmm. last time I went home, oh, I got to chat with so her cute. about school. It was so exciting. Aww. It was really, I was like, so cute. I was, uh, it was so good. That's going to yeah. be hard to navigate with um, K 
kids. Like if one parent speaks the language and the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's some different like yeah. teaching philosophies you on that, learn. like one parent, one language type things. Right. To help the kids learn both languages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's like dual language classrooms mm -hmm. in certain Ooh. schools Ooh. that offer it, which is mm -hmm. like nice. They did not offer that when I was going to school. So that'll mm -hmm. definitely mm -hmm. need yeah. to supplement. Yeah. Yeah. I want to learn Spanish. Oh, I really want Never to learn too Spanish. Late. I want to know it's Spanish. Hard. I don't really want to learn it. You know what I mean? You just want to already I just have. want to have it in my brain. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you just do a little every day. Yeah. yeah. And even if you yeah, can get to the, the point where you mind. understand more than you can speak, even that is super valuable. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. just because like you can some just sort of understanding of what's happening. You understand you can always use some sort of translate to help you come up with the words uh -huh. as you struggle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You want to close us out in Spanish? <gasps> yes. Matt can close us out in Italian? Yeah. Yes. We should say that for a different episode. I don't I don't know all the words for all the things. Oh, you know. Oh. <laughs> okay. Gracias por escuchar el podcast. Asegura que estás vacunándose. Votar en las elecciones. I sound like a flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> elecciones. elecciones. I love it. Yeah. Be sure you're washing your hands, being kind to your neighbor, practicing your other languages, uh, being kind to yourself, being kind to others. And we will see you next week. Is there anything else I want to add? That's it. Yeah. Ciao. Bye. Adios. Bye.